Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel after six months. Yeah, as I promised you on Instagram, I don't know for who is following me on Instagram. Uh, I wanted to give you an update because, oh, sorry, uh, those are my ducks, my surveillance cameras every day because uh, I have this type of leaves and a lot of growth for a lot of my plants that didn't do practically anything lately and um, I figured I figured out why they didn't do like my Adans Adansoni they are look at that huge well I will explain Oh, and my, I think this is my grey ghost. Yeah, I think so. I don't know where is the label. Uh, but, yeah, my serpents, my, what's this, Matilde? I don't know, can't remember. I have a label somewhere. So, uh, uh, almost all my plants, my Tradescanti are there. So, um, something happened. So, I will explain what. Oh, and I will show you some blooms in the meantime. Um, I will explain what happened in summer, so let's say three months ago, I found some mealybugs on my, some of my Hoyas, obviously, because hmm, mealybugs and Hoya, they loved it. So, right, I decided I will take all my plants out. I have, it, it's a mess here and I will explain why. I have my dehumidifier here because there is a lot of condensation and water and air. Anyway, uh, so I took all the plants out every week for three or four weeks, hose them down and spray them with pesticides. It was Provanto, Provanto or something like that. It doesn't matter what. But after I did that, I had all this new growth and even my pink princess started getting pink and uh, my, how it's called, this one is luxuriance, I don't know, and uh, my blue fern started getting really blue and growing, see, it's growing a lot, a lot of new growth and this one I sprayed it with alcohol, so <laughs> yeah. Um, so a lot of my plants started growing even if I did check them before I spray them and to the naked eye or to to this thing which is a magnifying thing I don't I can't remember how it's opening it see <clears throat> I, I couldn't see anything so Obviously, they had something. Something was on them. And after that, I've seen Dog Chamberlain. I I'm bad with all the names. Um, a video on his channel about um, some pests that are basically invisible. You can see them only through a microscope. So you can't even see them with this. That are residing on Hoyas. And because I have loads of Hoyas and they are all dotted around uh, the the plant room, I said, right, probably that was the case. But the spider mites appeared again after two months. So I said, what I'm doing now, because it's cold outside, I can't take them out. I can't I can't take every pot in the in the bathroom to shower them and after that uh, take them back here, spray them with pesticides. The pesticides are smelling awful. What I'm doing? So, Doug suggested sulfur, which was uh, like a, a powder that you put in water. But still, even that, after a lot of research, I've seen that uh, you need to use it like eight weeks. So, I was supposed to spray all my 300 plants for eight weeks, which, uh, believe me, 
three weeks was really difficult for me because to spray to to shower them all with the hose and after that to spray them let them dry it was taking me two days in a week to do that so it was not feasible so I researched the sulfur so 10 days ago so I will take you in the house because I removed it and I have my air purifier here so 10 days ago I ordered this it's a hot box with sulfur apparently this is a granulated form it's not anymore because I've used it but you can get a cream form as well that it's not smelling that bad so yeah you should do your research about that I couldn't find any in UK I will I will try to find it so this is a hot box I got the hot box and I got in this bag because you need to keep it in the dark not in the light I got two kilograms of sulfur that will last me for I don't know five years I think because I put here just one handful and I still I still have for another five or six burns don't touch this without gloves please even if they are saying it's not harmful mm. safety first all right so I burned that for three days continuously hello Muppets <laughs> hello my Muppets so for three nights not three days you can't burn that during the day so you need to be dark closed all that those lights uh, I don't have any um, how do you call those any exhaust fans in the room so I didn't have to go close anything I, I left the uh, obviously I left the heater here which is still going and uh, I don't know so it will it run for three days four or five hours a night I left here if you can see this one had a, a millibug this is the best example that I can give you let me uh, uh, see that was a millibug there it's kind of and there they are kind of disintegrating I can't if I touch it I don't see you can see it but I can't get it let's see if it, it kind of desiccated the millibug I think I hope it works because mm, yeah I, I really don't want to get back to spraying plants and these are all my begonias from Joff and <clears throat> because of the spraying that I've told you this is one of my plumeria never flowered for me but I, I've grown this from a seed uh, and another six but I have a uh, variegation on my plumeria which I think it's a genetic mutation because of the because so much spraying these have passed as well and I never seen the past but I can show you how the leaves will look like if they get past like that so if you see that you have something I never seen any past on them but they had uh, they were starting having see and you'll say oh it's spider mites really it's not because you can't see anything not even with a magnifying glass believe me I've looked so yeah uh, my conclusion my conclusion it's pretty stressful because I do believe that you really let's see this one ah look another example this one had millibugs come on focus will you focus let's see this one had the millibug here and it's looks like desiccated oh god hopefully this worked I do I do I do I do pray it working because um, so yeah 
it's difficult to be coherent, is it? Uh, so what I was saying, my conclusion is you really need to spray your plants at least every month. You do. Um, because you can have, so if something it's not growing, it's not doing well, or if you can't see anything, but the leaves are looking weird, like the plumeria that I've showed you, or look, like this black spot that I have on my um, Bella var variegata, uh, you have something. So you have something. So in order to prevent that something to spread everywhere, especially if you have a lot of plants, you need to spray them every every month, I would say, or at least twice a month, preventively. Um, because a serious infestation, you'll get rid of of it in, I don't know, two weeks, three weeks time, by spraying everything every two days. So, which is not feasible for anyone. So, my plant room, it's tight. It's an extension of the house, right? Even if the doors were shut, I have a window there that was shut as well. The smell got in. It's not that bad. I just isolate, isolated that back room, opened the windows, and put my air purifier. You, you see there? I've put my air purifier, plugged it in, full strength, let it all night, and something was in the air because the number went from 10 to 200 and something. So even if they say it's safe, it's better to, yeah, to be cautious with substance my fish tank here I cover it I didn't cover it all the way I just cover it till there I left a, a little gap to feed the fish apparently everything is fine even my little frogs are all right my guppies are living their best life they are hungry again but everything is fine my I forgot whatever it's this because it's going out of control. It's growing in the the fish tank for the last seven months. So, yeah, plus some tradescantia. So, everything was fine. Uh, what else should, could, I, could I tell you? I have some seedlings there that I have to water that I didn't see for a long time. <laughs> so, yeah, hopefully this worked. I don't know. I will let you know when I, I will. I will leave the plants for another week, and after that, I will check them for for pests. But uh, again, if Doug Chamberlain, it's correct about those Hoya pests that you can't see. I mean, you can see, but just under the microscope. Uh, ah, look. Even my carnivorous plants. This is a Drosera. Even this one have mealybugs. Look, can you see it? Hopefully it's dead. I hope it's dead. If not, that would have been a waste of time. Okay, I think we will see in about one week, two weeks time. Uh, this uh, ceases. I always had problems with the spider mites. At the moment, I don't see any spider mites. Hopefully, they are dead. So, yeah. So, even if you can't uh, can't get a hot box, you can get the spray. It's a bit of work. It's eight weeks, but still, apparently, guarantees that you will get rid of most of the pests that are common in house plants and. Uh, powdery mildew as well. I had here my African violets. I had here every plant from uh, that I have inside the house. I put them on the floor. It was a, a, a mess in here for three days. But uh, yeah, I will let you know another week or two. And after that, I think in December, I will put uh, I will put the hot box, the sulfur hot box again. I will still try to 
to look for that cream sulfur, which apparently it's supposed not to smell at all. So depending where you are living, maybe you can find it if you are in UK. I don't know, I didn't find it yet. So if you know where I can find it, um, please tell me. What else I should show you? Ah, look, my begonia and fioxus, which is from Adina, by the way, uh, it's not living in a terrarium, it's living in my plant room, and she's perfectly fine. Look how many new growth she has. She was sprayed as well, but to be fair, this one was growing really well. And all these begonias are from Joff. These were a bit neglected, so I need, I need to separate them and put them around the house, because I think... I want them around the house. Look at this black fang. It's from Adina as well. So, yeah, I have a few dead leaves there. This is happening when you have too many plants. And uh, I have a lot of Tradescantias that uh, I want to... I don't, I don't know if I want to give them away or I want to give some cuttings or exchange some cuttings. Um, yeah. I have loads of them, so please let me know. We can uh, have a trade uh, or something, even if you have uh, more expensive plants. Believe me, I can give you a lot of plants, so we can m make it up for the prices of your plants. Anyway, this is it for today. I'm sorry for uh, the long absence. Hopefully, I will be more... Um, I can't find my words. I, I really need to take some diction lex lessons or I don't know how to speak lessons. Better say, oh, I will show my painted lady because she's looking awesome after I've sprayed her. Yeah. I need, uh, I think I need to display them more. Even my succulents, my, my ghost cactus, it's full of that thing grow everywhere. And she covered my cactus, which is gorgeous. I think I'll cut it off because I've noticed when I cut off the vines, the bulbs are, are growing bigger. So yeah, that's it. Uh, I'm like a, a moth that is attracted to a flame. Oh, did, I, did you see my Danny Lee? This is my Danny Lee. I don't know if she's supposed to look like that. With, with Tradiscantia, I don't, I don't know anything. But I don't know if she's supposed to look like that. But look at that. Let me put it in the light ah, I can't put it in the light she's really white don't know why anyway I like her uh, this is it for today uh, please subscribe that will help me a lot and see you in my next video